Hey everyone, I have a new tool that I want to share with you guys. This is the Lexivon LX771 multifunction micro torch set. And let me tell you, this is actually quite the complete set. Take a look at this box. It's got hinges, a nice blow molded case with foam lining, and look at the layout in here. Now mind you, obviously you want to take some precautions not to put your torch away while it's hot because it's foam. But let's take a look. This is your torch. I have a selection of attachments, two wrenches, a uh, solder cleaning tip well, and a stand. So let's take a look at the torch. Man, this guy is, it feels really, really good. It's, it's an aluminum body. It's got a rubberized grip. Here's a lock to keep the, the torch on. And this right here is your safety mechanism. I'll have to figure out later how to deactivate that. And this is your flame adjustment over here. Man, I'll tell you right now, this guy, just naturally, on its own, it's kind of tipsy. I wish they would have balanced it out a little bit better. This is without any attachments on the front. Just using it like this, without the stand, and you can see it wants to fall over kind of on its own. I wish it was a little more balanced to the opposite side. But anyway, you can see some of the things this got going on. It is designed to try and keep the heat at this end of the tool. So it's doing everything right to protect the user, me. You've got your little switch right here, and you flick it over. Man, it's got a little bit of a, it's got a knob right there that I can't, I can't do this with one hand. Oh, this is gonna be such a fail. So if I touch this one just a little bit, it allows me to flip it over. All right, so here's the safety. And I'm trying to flip it over. If I if I just depress the button just a little bit, it allows me to flip it over. That's a little weird. I'm not gonna like that. I'm gonna have to try and disable this. Maybe I'll do a video on disabling this guy. Because I'm a professional. You guys are probably professionals. We just want this guy to work and these little ridiculous safety features like this. This one's not even working right. Look at this. I'm trying to flick it over. It's taking way too much effort for me to flip it over. Maybe that's just a manufacturing defect. It seems to be a, a little bit easier. No, it's not, I'm lying. A little bit easier. Wow, that's really difficult. Anyway, guys, let's take a look at what comes in the set. So here I've got one tip, which is a flame concentrator. You see how it's nice and hollow. I've got my adapter, which allows me to plug all of these guys on. This right here is a heat concentrator or a protector tool. This is what you put on a piece of wiring and it keeps the flame from you know hitting other wires behind it. So you use it probably in conjunction with this little guy right here. So let's take a look and see how we set this guy up. I've got the base, you can see it just comes right out. Take the torch and we press it into the base. And now it's not tippy at all, look at that. It's actually very stable. They probably should have just cut this guy out and made that a permanent addition to the base. That would have made it a much nicer tool if it was just, you know, like this. Just made a spot in the case so that it fit. All I have to do is pull it out, because if I have to pull it out and put that on every time, I'm not going to be happy. I'm probably going to be like most of you guys, and we're just going to lay it down while it's hot. And you can see that the tip is probably going to come too close to touching. If they would have just built up the front of that just a little bit, See what I'm saying? If they would have built up the, this part of material just a little bit, it would have kept it off the table surface. That's all the, and now look, because it's tapered at the front of the nose, it naturally wants to drop the tip onto the table surface, which makes it a fire hazard. <sighs> anyway, I want to love this tool. I really do. Because honestly, if you guys have had to remove extra, um, fasteners from metal or something it's always nice to have a torch if you have some very large diameter shrink tube a torch works better than most heat guns you know there's many many uses for a torch um, but let's let's go ahead and show you guys how to change out the tip so right here is a removable nose cone I'll go ahead and put it down and right here's an adapter you see that and your adapter actually has something inside it right there which is going to react and focus the heat right up here 
All right. So you can see that piece fits inside the nose cone. You screw it down and this is a threaded adapter. So now we can put one of our soldering tips on if we want. So there is a tapered soldering tip. We have a hot knife good for removing labels or maybe shaping some plastic. This is one of my favorite soldering tips. I'm so glad that they included it with this guy. This uh, tapered oval, it really wants to hold solder really well. So if you're tinning something, you use this one right here because it holds a bead of solder really well and you can run it down an exposed wire and tin it really quickly. I like that. I dig that. And this piece right here is a typical wedge style. Probably won't use this one very much. And the, the taper one, yeah, that one can be kind of a pain. I'm probably going to use this one the most, to be honest. But and here is the heat focuser. So I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and take a look at what the heat focuser looks like. Screw it on. All right. And you can see right here how this guy would kind of fit on there. And what you would do is you stick your wire or whatever you want a heat shrink tube. You stick it right in here so that the heat doesn't come out here and melt some other stuff that's in your rack or wherever you're going to use this. Let's see. I'll flick this guy over. Ooh. Oh, yeah. You can see it glowing nice and red right there. So that is a heat concentrator. Very nice. I probably won't use this. It'd be nice if this came with um, some of that wire mesh so for cleaning the tip because as you guys know using um, wet sponge is that's an old school technique for cleaning tips. It actually cools down the tip a little bit too much for continued use. So something like this where you're monitoring the tip temperature using the iron, um, using the torch rather. It would be nice if this came with the little wire mesh uh, for cleaning the tip. But guys, I can tell you right now that this guy actually looks like a really nice iron. The problem is, I really wish that it would have came with the base part of it, like with the burns matic Hopefully this guy's not too hot, right? Slightly warm. The tip of this thing is really well built. I've seen some of these that look like they're ready to fall apart. But I've checked the threads. The threads are clean. The little uh, heat conductor down at the end is nice and durable. I just wish that this guy wasn't tapered. I wish it was square so that when it laid, it would lay like this and keep the tip off the table surface because look at that. It wants to be really close to the table and that is not a good idea. Even with the base installed, it wants to lay tip down and that's not good. So anyway. Um, there we go. If it was a squared head, we could lay it down like this. And yeah, it's still a fire hazard, but it's not nearly as bad as that. And I really wish that that guy was embedded. But overall, guys, I'm really excited about this torch kit. The, my last one, the burns o -Matic. It's been around the block a few times, and I think I'm going to donate that one to the shop. This one here is going to be in my personal kit. And I really dig it. This is the Lexavon LX771. I really like that rubberized grip, guys. This guy is not going to slip out of your hands. doesn't have that cheap plastic you feel. And this body is all aluminum. The other thing I want to point out is that there is no viewing window to figure out how full your butane is. So that's a little odd. You know, like the burns matic has got a little viewing window so you can see how full it is. Take a look at that torch tip. So that is with it almost on minimum. Good. I locked it. Now let's let's turn it up. Okay, so that's with the torch on maximum. And that's with the torch on minimum. I'll probably use it mainly on minimum because it just doesn't make sense unless you're maybe sweating a pipe or something with it. Alright, not too bad. So you just lightly push this guy forward and it shuts itself off. I just wish that this guy right here was different. This is annoying, right? Yeah. To do it one-handed is very difficult. I've got a large hand, which gives me the ability to kind of get some effort on it. 
but some of you with smaller hands might find that to be a little complex. I'm going to see if I can do another video to show you guys how to disable that guy because that needs to change on this whole thing. Other words, it'd be a really good torch kit. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. That's going to be my new torch for in the shop, not for my to-go kit. For my to-go kit, I actually have this little guy right here. And this has been my favorite torch for a long time. But you can tell it's not working so well because I lent it out like a good person that I'm supposed to be and I got it back broke. So now the head wibble wobbles on there and I had to go out and get another torch. This one right here. Find it on Amazon. I'll leave the link in the description below. Thanks for watching guys.